The Guardians, the Rangers, the Cubs, Phillies, and Cardinals are all on the outside looking in. Who will be my favorites, my top five plays for today? It is Sunday, July 16th, and the contenders are back. First up at number five, we are going to my Braves taking on the White Sox and Dylan Cease. Now, that is not normally a good matchup. Cease is a very, very quality pitcher, 3.88 projected fit, but we still have a 5.1 run implied total on Atlanta because this offense is absolutely ridiculous. 6% chance to be the top stack, just 1% chance to be the top value. This isn't an overwhelming rate. The teams at the top look a lot better than Atlanta, but we need to be very aware of what Atlanta is capable of doing, even against Dylan Cease. Another team with major power, the Blue Jays are in at number four, taking on Tommy Henry and the D-backs. So, Lefty on the hill in Henry. He's a below average starter. We got a 5.1 run implied total here for Toronto. 11% chance to be the top stack. That's almost double the Braves. And 7% chance at top value. They have a little bit of value at the bottom. They don't go as extreme at the top. You get $5,200 Bo Bichette, 8% optimal. $4,900 George Springer, 8% optimal. And Danny Jansen, $3,500 catcher. 8% optimal. This is a great place to try to find some home runs because eight of the nine hitters in the Blue Jays lineup are expected to be righties against the lefty and Henry. At number three, we go to the Cincinnati Reds taking on the Brewers, Adrian Hauser, who's fine, 4.7 FIP. I, I think he's a little bit better than that, but it doesn't really matter. At best, we're calling him a league average pitcher, and he's probably not that anymore. Just memories of a, a time gone by. 5.5 run implied total for Cincinnati. Cincinnati? Cincinnati. That's what we're looking for, by the way, because this game is in Cincinnati, and we know we can expect some runs when we're playing at the Reds. 12% chance to be the top stack, 1% chance to be the top value. These guys get priced like they're in cores now. $5,400 Matt McLean, but he's still interesting because he has the MPE. $6,200 Ellie De La Cruz, who is, no matter what anybody says, wildly overpriced just in general. It might be his ceiling, shouldn't be there right now, but he's got a third base shortstop MPE. He's the most optimal play of anybody on Cincinnati. Don't get it twisted. You want to go to the Reds here, but they are going to be expensive. Your best bet is probably to just go to the Brewers. The same stack, but way more cost effective. Taking on Ben Lively and the Reds, 5.2 run implied total. Same odds of being the top stack, 12%. However, 23% chance to be the top value. These guys are ultra cheap. Christian Yelich is 4,800 in the leadoff spot. Looks fantastic. You get someone like Jesse Winker for 2,700. Just cost effective. The most, most expensive guy on this roster is Yelich at 4,800, and I think he looks good. This is an easy stack to get to. They're going to pull a lot of ownership because it's not difficult to put together any sort of permutations of the Brewers, but this game in general is as good as it gets. Before we close it out with the number one contender, I want you guys to hit the like button and I want you to just sign up at Stochastic. If you're looking for more DFS content, this is the perfect way to do it. Link in the description is going to give you 50% off your first week. If you just wanna come check out what we have, projections, ownership, top stacks, top pitchers, top batters, our lineup generator, all of that is included for 50% off. Perfect opportunity to get started now that we're back from the all-star break. Finally, we close it out with my number one team for today, the Tampa Bay Rays. They are taking on the Royals and Brady Singer. 5.6 run implied total for Tampa. This one's in Kansas City. It's going to be a hot one. 14% chance at top stack, 7% chance at top value. You're looking at someone like Luke Raley with the MPE first outfield, 4,300. I think the best option from the Rays, but Brandon Lau, Wander Franco, both look great at the top of the lineup, and you're checking off second base and shortstop. It's pretty blurry at the top. The Rays are sort of the in-between of the Brewers and the Reds. There's immense value from the Brewers. There's no value from the Reds. The Rays are sort of just in-between. Some value, but not a ton of it. All three teams look good, including the Blue Jays. I love the top four, but the Rays are number one. Alrighty, folks, that will do it. Those are my MLB DFS contenders on DraftKings for Sunday, July 16th. FanDuel version is around here somewhere, so check it out. Good luck tonight. Win some money. We're back again tomorrow morning for another edition of The Contenders.